is a bit hard to do through the old iPad, but this is um, my new addition to my night vision tracking. Um, this is the Bush, the uh, sorry, the Yukon Ranger. It's not the Pro version. I said in one of my earlier videos it was the Pro version. It's not. I wish. Um, this is just a standard Ranger. It has your uh, IR, which for our hobby of tracking satellites is not really something we use much, but it's there. It's it's all right. It's not too bad for range. Underneath, it's got a little tiny IR built in that's always on. That is a bit of a pain for the satellite hobby, um, but because the sensitivity of this Ranger is so good that uh, you, you generally you put up with that. I guess you could somehow cover that. I don't know how, but I guess you could somehow cover that little mini IR to prevent it from illuminating, um, you know, moths and things like that. Behind these covers are your are your um, objective lens here, which you adjust. Like so to focus on the uh, on the stars of the satellites and your IR illuminator. On the top of the unit, you have your power on off, power on off, your IR illuminator, and your plus for uh, illuminator effective power and minus. The cool thing about the Ranger is that it actually remembers the setting that you set it to. So if you set it for a lower illumination strength, it will remember that when you turn the unit back on again. This is your diopter for your eye, and this is the um, mini LCD screen that you look through, and you get a monochrome image. Sorry, this button here, that's the IR there. This button here is your power on or off. Let's see, power on, power off, and at the front here is your screen brightness on the actual uh, unit, so you zoom that fully up, can't remember which way it goes actually. Let's have a look. Oh, you zoom it, push it towards the right to uh, increase the screen brightness. But it's it's a good unit. It's a very sensitive unit, a bit noisy when you're using it with the supplied video out socket. That's the one cool thing about this unit. Sorry for uh, the handling issues here, but it's a bit hard to film for an iPad. <laughs> I've got it stood up on its little stand, which makes it useful. But yeah, there you go. You've got the main one there is your AV, or video out, sorry. And the one above it is the DC 6 volt, I think 6 volt out. Um, or in, so you can uh, plug it into an external power source. Uh, the unit runs off six AA batteries. I'm currently using nickel metal batteries, um, energizer batteries that we get here in New Zealand. They seem to be 2450 uh, milliamp battery uh, amp hour batteries. That's your um, tripod mount right there. I guess uh, it's okay. I personally don't like the fact that it's on the uh, on the right hand side of the unit or one side of the unit. I prefer it if it was in the middle. Uh, it sort of makes the unit a little bit unbalanced on a tripod, but um, it's it's as I say, it's fine. It does the job. So that is the Yukon Yukon Ranger, not the Pro version, just the Yukon Ranger. And uh, yeah, it's it's good night vision. Uh, it's got about 150 200 meter effective range with the IR for standard eye for standard um, night vision use. 